Okay, uh, so this this part is going to be an overview of the classroom. So hopefully you've already accessed Blackboard. If you have not already, please log in today. Okay, got to make sure everything works for you. Um, so so please log into the classroom. I'm, I'm going to show you what it lo looks like in the student view because I want to see what you see. Okay. Um, so this is the classroom layout. This is the home screen here. You'll notice that uh, under course content, there's a lot of stuff. This is where everything lives. The great thing about this course is you don't have to go outside of this course for anything. Okay, you can take all of your quizzes, exams, assignments, discussion forums, hypothesis, uh, and the LinkedIn learning uh, videos and certificates are all right here in the classroom. So the only thing you'll have to link up is your LinkedIn account. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here briefly. So, you know, don't don't get too scared just yet. Uh, so the first thing right here at the top is called student resources. This is uh, if you're not used to Blackboard, there's some training things here. There's also this really important document called LinkedIn Learning Activation Instructions. I want you to read this one, and I want you to follow the steps, okay? Because in this class, you will be earning uh, LinkedIn Learning Certificates, okay? Um, it, and the, the cool thing with these LinkedIn Learning Certificates is you can attach them to your LinkedIn Learning profile. You could put them on your resume. These are skills that you will be earning through this course that will follow you for the rest of your life, okay? Uh, that's, that's my gift to you all. Um, LinkedIn Learning is a free resource to UDC students. The University of District of Columbia paid for these resources. They paid. You didn't. Okay. This is a gift to you. All right. Free. Yeah. Okay. So these LinkedIn learning certificates are at no cost to you. And so I made them a part of the requirement for this course because I want you to bring skills with you beyond this course. So you'll need to follow these LinkedIn learning and activation instructions, very simple steps, okay? There's a video instructions, or you could just do the, the PDF. There's also the PDF right here below, okay? All you need to do is follow these nine steps to, to connect the LinkedIn learning with your LinkedIn account. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, that's okay. No need to freak out. Uh, you don't even need one. To complete this stuff, but I recommend that you do ultimately because LinkedIn is a professional networking site that connects you with potential employers, like with like minded professional individuals, etc. Okay, so I encourage it. So that's LinkedIn Learning, and we'll talk, we're going to talk more about that shortly. And that you can find that in activation instructions under student resources. You can also find them under the Start Here menu, and I'm going to show you where that is next. The, ask the professor. You can ask me anything in there, okay? Or you can email your questions. You can call me, text me, whatever. Uh, if, if the question is related to the course, try to get it in the Ask the Instructor. The reason why is because one of your classmates might have the same exact question. So if you ask it there they can see it as well. Yeah, just a, just a thought. The next one is called Start Here. Now, we're not going to read through all this stuff today. I want you to read through all this stuff on your own time, please. So if, try to access the course today and start going through the, the various pages. First one's a welcome and course overview. It tells you the course learning objectives, that kind of thing. The next page is the course structure and policy expectations. This is a quote unquote in person course, but it's everything's done on Blackboard. Okay, I uh, I keep everything in the same place, so you don't you never have to leave Blackboard for any reason. 
uh, this just kind of talks about the various learning tools and activities, communication expectations, etc. One thing you'll learn about me is that I'm very quick to respond. Okay, unlike some of my colleagues, I can re I'll respond to your email within 24 hours or less. Okay, I'll call you back the same day. I'll text you back when I get your message. I will, you know, you can see what I'm getting at. I'm quick to respond. Okay. Um, so please feel free to read through all of this stuff under the Start Here menu. The one part I want to touch base on very briefly before we jump into Chapter 1 is the syllabus. The syllabus is found under the Start Here menu, and it's kind of lengthy, and I'm going to zoom in, and hopefully it doesn't get too blurry, but I want to... Um, uh, walk through the syllabus just a little bit with you. To, I'm going to point on, on the very important stuff, yeah? So here we have the course learning objectives. This is everything that you're going to be tested on in the course that you're required to know, okay? So these are the, the, the course objectives. Very important, the textbook for the course, okay? The textbook for the course can be found right here in Blackboard uh, under the Start Here menu. There's a, a button called the uh, uh, Bright Wave, I think it's called, or something like that. It's it's through the bookstore. Uh, and as far as I understand, the bookstore still provides textbooks at no cost to the students. I think you get charged like a, whatever the hell it's called, some type of technology fee or something like that, right? But it's there for you, right? So so you don't need to worry about getting a hard copy book or something like that. Don't don't waste your money on that stuff, okay? Uh, I, I recommend the digital version. It's right in the classroom, easy to use. It comes, it, it, there's an e-reader. You can highlight, save stuff, whatever you need. I, I personally think it's a lot better than a, a digital, uh, I'm sorry, a physical copy. You'll also, as I mentioned, everything's in Blackboard, all your assignments, discussions, quizzes, hypothesis, LinkedIn, uh, learning certificates, Excel files, everything's right here in Blackboard, so you don't have to worry about going too far. Strongly encourage you to create a LinkedIn account if you don't already have one. We do use Excel in this course, which is an excellent tool for managers and business owners. Oh, and everyone else. Okay, Excel is usually required by employers, believe it or not. Heck, I think even Tim probably uses it on, on Tim's job. You know, I, 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 Jonathan probably uses it too. You know, there's a great chance that you already use Excel, and that's great. But if you don't already use Excel, it's a great thing to know, okay? So, which is why you'll find out very quickly that the, one of the first things you're going to do this week is a LinkedIn learning certificate on Excel. Okay. So, um, so yeah, Excel is, is used in this course. And I'll show you how it's used. <clears throat> how are you graded? Uh, and how's the course designed? There's seven discussion boards throughout the course, four hypothesis annotations, 16 quizzes. That's one quiz per chapter. There are six LinkedIn learning certificates. Okay. I promise you, you're going to like them. It's, they're, they'll, you'll see the value, I, I promise. There's a midterm exam and a final exam. This is a 16-week course, so you'll have a lot of fun with me over the next 16 weeks. I promise. Uh, and I'll, I will absolutely keep you busy and, and keep you engaged. Uh, everything for the respective week is due on Sunday night. Discussion boards, the original post is due on... Thursday night, and the responses to two of your classmates is due on Sunday night. Okay, and I'll talk. We'll talk more about that as as time goes forward. On average, you'll probably be spending about fifteen to twenty hours per week per course. That's about the average for an undergraduate student. Um, I would suspect it'll probably be somewhere around there, for, especially for this course, because you know there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of reading and all that stuff. Uh, the the way that the points scale works is um, it's based out of a thousand points, um, you know, just as it as it it might be in some of your other courses.
Below that, you'll see the uh, the course schedule. We're already in the first week. Today's the second day of the first week of the semester. So we have four things we want to look at this week. There's a LinkedIn learning course, Excel exercises, which are not graded. Uh, there's a discussion board and a quiz. Okay, so you actually have three things that you need to complete in this course. Discussion post Thursday night, and you need to do the LinkedIn Learning uh, Certificate and Chapter 1 quiz by Sunday night. So I know I'm throwing a lot at you already, but uh, again, this is a very intuitive course. So that's why I wanted to get started right away. Uh, and then, you know, you'll, you'll notice that it's about one chapter per week on average. Uh, and we'll be able to get through all of it uh, relatively easily. I, I, don't, I don't think any of you will have any trouble with, with the way that the course is designed. Um, so that's the syllabus. Please make sure that you uh, read through it. Uh, and, um, you know, if you have any questions on it, just let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. Next thing is called a course map. Uh, you can look at this at, on your leisure. But what this map does is it shows you exactly how everything is connected. There's a reason why we learn certain things in accounting. And so I wanted you to understand exactly how, what you're learning, why you're learning it, um, how it's being tested, and, and how I'm measuring your learning outcomes. And so that's what this map does. It, 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 show, it shows you how everything's related, you know. So feel free to look through that map, um, you know, as on your, on your leisure. Uh, and then going back to the start here area, there's a couple of other pieces of information. I do want you to, uh, under instructor information, a couple things here. This is my email address. You just click on it, right? Here, this is my cell phone number. Okay, um, it's my only number. Uh, if you're going to send me a text message, uh, please tell me who you are and what class you're in. Okay, so that way I know who you are. Because <laughs> I don't respond to numbers I don't know. Yeah. Um, if you call me and I don't answer, leave a voicemail and I'll call you back. Okay. Uh, also, if you want to set up... Um, office hours, you could do that very easily by clicking on the office hours link. Uh, when when I reactivate this, all you need to do is select the date and time, and you can schedule a time to meet with me during office hours. Very simple. Uh, and it'll be on WebEx. Okay, that's, that's just very uh, simple uh, stuff there. The office hours link is there. Course technical requirements, all you need is a computer, and it's connected to the internet. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. That's all you need. Okay. The LinkedIn Learning Activation Instructions are here again. There's a short video if you need help with it. Uh, if you need help with the LinkedIn stuff, let me know. I'll help you out. Okay. Then the next page is the Bright Wave course materials. Make sure that you have access to the textbook by clicking on this link, Bright Wave course materials. Once it, it might ask you to log in or do some stuff or whatever, do the stuff, okay? It should open up with the book. Your book should be there. It looks just like this. It says Fundamental Accounting Principles. You click on that, and then you can start reading it uh, and, you know, highlighting and all that great stuff, whatever you need to do. There's also flashcards and a couple of other fun content built into the book. So, um, so that's there for you. Some of you have already started doing it, but there's also introductions, discussion, uh, and I appreciate all of you who have started participating. Feel free to jump in. Uh, yeah, this is a great way for you to connect with, with me and your, your colleagues. The WebEx, it's there. That's how you got here. And the data policies and procedures and, and privacy stuff. Uh, let me zoom out because uh, that's kind of big. Um, so that is the start here. Please make sure that you look over everything in the start here menu. How is each week designed? These are called learning modules. They're designed by week. So week one, that's where we are today. You'll open up week one. What I need you to do this week is to go through all of these things. So you'll start with week at a glance 
It shows you what it is that we're learning about today and in this week, the learning objectives for this week, and then what you need to do to be successful in this week. You'll notice there's quite a few things here. Uh, read chapter one, review the PowerPoint presentation. You're attending the lecture today. Um, there's a discussion forum. You'll need to post your original post on Thursday night and respond to two of your classmates by Sunday night. There's also the LinkedIn Learning Excel certificate uh, and there's a quiz. So those three things need to be completed by Sunday night. Uh, the Excel worksheets, these are just there for your benefit to help you to understand how Excel works uh, with, ex with accounting. Yeah, they're exercises. They're just there to help you to better learn and understand both Excel and uh, understand how accounting works in an Excel format. Uh, the next is uh, instructional materials. Under the instructional materials folder, you will find uh, what you need to read. The PowerPoint presentation that we're about to go over is also here. So feel free to download that. You can view it in line, whatever you like. Some additional content. And then I usually also like to create like these little fun, um, we call this a thing link. It's, it's basically a fun interactive way to learn. Uh, and then I also post some videos from LinkedIn Learning. And so you'll be able to view those videos on, on the next pages. Yeah. Um, so that's not all under instruction materials. These are not the LinkedIn Learning videos I was referring to earlier. So these, these LinkedIn Learning videos are just supplemental content. You don't need to watch those, but you can if you want to. The next thing you'll notice is a file called Engage and Explore. Here you'll find the Excel exercises. Again, these do not get submitted. They're just there to help you. You can download these by going to the three dots and click Download Original File. Uh, and then that's how you'll interact with the Excel file. It's a very useful tool. Strongly encourage you to use it. Next, you'll find the certificate course. The way that LinkedIn Learning works is once you've established your profile, you've linked it with LinkedIn Learning for UDC, you'll be able to begin the, the certificate. So you, the way it works is you click on the certificate course. It'll open up. Hopefully it opens up. It might not because I'm in student view. Okay, I'm in student view, so it didn't work for me. So let me show you what it looks like on my site. When you open it up, Sorry, it's when you open it up on our Engage and Explore, you cl you'll click on Excel Essential Training. This one's due Sunday night. You'll open it up. It'll open up like this, okay, assuming that you've correctly established your profile and connected everything appropriately. You'll notice that the way it's designed is it's a series of short videos. And it's organized by chapter. What you need to do in order to earn your certificate is you need to make sure that you've watched every single one of these short videos by starting at the very beginning. Okay, you click on getting started. It'll automatically start playing and it'll automatically go to the next video. Okay, when the video is done and it's verified that it's done, it'll turn from this little unshaded circle to a shaded circle, and then it'll turn into a green check mark that verifies that you've watched it and it's completed. Okay. You need to go all the way to the end, including the conclusion. Once you've gone through and you've watched everything and it verifies that you've watched everything, a new window will ap appear and it'll it'll say it'll have a certificate okay and you'll be able to download that certificate you can post the certificate to your linkedin account you can share it but the way i need you to submit it for this course is you need to download it in a pdf format 
it'll be an option. It'll say download PDF. You click download PDF, it downloads to your computer. Once you've found the PDF, you're going to want to come back to the classroom, come to this Dropbox area, and upload the PDF. That'll be your submission. That's how I know that you've done it, and that's how I'll give you credit. Okay, there are six LinkedIn Learning um, certificates for this course. Most of them are, are, are based on, yes, you can add it to your resume. Absolutely. In fact, I want you to because, uh, yes, yes, absolutely. You add it to your resume for sure because it's a certificate. It's, it's, it's holds the same weight as any other professional certificate that you earn. Okay. So put it on your resume because, um, your employer or potential employer will see that and they'll be like, Oh, that's awesome. You know how to use Excel, you know? So, uh, yes, it holds value. Definitely. Please do it. Um, so there's six of these. If I haven't mentioned it already, the only way you can possibly pass this class is to do all of the work. Okay, do not skip anything in this course. Okay, I promise you, if you skip something, you probably won't pass. All right, and you need to go in order. That's the only way you're going to be able to pass the course, is to do all the work. Because if you look at the way that the course is designed, that's the only way that you can pass. You see? So please, make sure you do all the work, including the LinkedIn Learning Certificates, including the discussion boards, okay? Because that's how you're going to pass. Yeah. Questions, comments, concerns? Every week is designed this way. Marlon, I see your hand. Yes, with the... Um... With the LinkedIn um, essential learning mm -hmm. for Excel, are we going to be just watching the videos or actually like interacting with Microsoft Excel? Yeah, great question, Marlon. So, so you have an option. You have the op the option. At minimum, you need to watch all the videos. But if you notice, uh, when you start watching it, especially when you start watching this this first part, uh, there's. Uh, this uh, person, this instructor, is talking about, you know, the various uh, exercise files. You'll notice right here, there's a, a file called exercise files. And if you can download these files and follow along with the instructor. Uh, and what that'll do is it'll provide you with that hands-on experience. So that so that's up to you if you want to do that. I If you want to learn Excel... That's the way to do it. But yeah, that's that's a great question, Marlon. So so the option is up to you. If you wanna if you wanna follow along hands on, that's the way to do it. But uh if you don't, that's okay too. But you just have to make sure that you at minimum you watch all the videos, it turn the check mark turns green. Um at at maximum, you also want to do the the follow along. Yeah. Does that make sense? That's perfect. Awesome. Cool, very cool. Yeah, uh, again, the, the whole idea here is that uh, you're learning a new skill, something you can take with you, and, uh, you know, that's the value I'm trying to add to you and to this course. So, cool, very cool. Uh, you'll also notice that it, it, for each chapter, as I had mentioned, there is a quiz. The quiz, the great thing about the quiz is that you have two attempts at every quiz. So if you're not satisfied with the results, you know, of your first attempt, try it again. Okay. Uh, it's open book, open note, uh, open everything. Yeah. The other thing I should mention is that everything in this course is open and available to you right now. So if you're one of those real ambitious type of students, like Jenny is, I know Jenny's very ambitious. She likes to work ahead. That's fine. You could do that. You know, it's, it's totally fine. So uh, everything is open and available. So if you want to work ahead, you can totally do that. Nothing wrong. So any qu other questions, comments, concerns about the design of the course? Or anything up, up about the course? So our discussion board is due every Thursday, and we have to respond by Sunday night, and our um, 
quiz is due Sunday night, and the uh, LinkedIn Learning Certificate is due Sunday night. Correct. Yep, so you have three action items. Well, technically four with the two responses. But yeah, that's correct. Can I ask a question? Why isn't the discussion board and the responses due on the same day? Uh, because, uh, great question. If none of you posted before the due date, it would be real hard for you all to interact. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, you know, so, so that way, you know, if your original post is done on Thursday, you can read your classmates' ones and be able to respond to them. Because otherwise, it would be real hard to if you all waited to the last minute. You know what I mean? So, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we do it that way. Good question. Okay, great. Um, so if it's okay with y'all, I'd like to stop this recording and then we'll jump into chapter one. Yep. Awesome. Sounds good.